as stay-at-home orders started in response to COVID-19, we moved our entire mid-year meeting to a virtual format in a matter of days. When the world was, you know, coming apart at the seams, it was complete chaos out there. But in the world of NAL, our ED, Karen Richardson, and all of the staff took it all in stride, you know, stayed calm and carried on. I think that that was really impressive. It helped us continue to be effective. I am very grateful for all of that effort and in particular, just staying, staying with it. And no one knew what was gonna happen, but I remember that second week in March of 2020, very, very clearly, we were one of the first organizations to pivot and everybody just said, that's what we're gonna do. And three days later, we did it. And it was really amazing. Although we all knew 2020 would be a pivotal year, the experience of the last six months has been unlike anything we could have imagined. My name is Kristen Sostowski, and it has been the honor and privilege of my career to serve as NAL's president for 2019 to 2020. Beyond grateful for NAL's community that has given me so much, and optimistic that when we look back, when this chapter in our history is written, we will view 2020 as the beginning of new growth for NAL as an organization, because together we committed to try. I'm proud to be passing the baton to my dear friend, Karen Morris. Over the years we've worked together on NAL's board, I've learned so much from Karen about leadership and strategy. And under Karen's thoughtful leadership, I know NAL will continue to grapple with the legacy we are building for the future and what actions we will take to get there. NAL's legacy inspires, educates, and humbles me. NAL's advancements over the past 121 years have enabled my career, my position, my voice. I truly wouldn't be here otherwise. I feel great accountability to the vital work that has always been at the heart of the NAL mission. I feel the weight of taking the role of NAL's 93rd president at a critical time in our history, but I am fortified by the legacy of the great women who preceded me. I'd like to highlight during the last two years that NAL has done, and in particular, a huge thanks to Kristen, Karen, and Jenny for their phenomenal support of women in the military and all those who have served. The challenges that NAL has fought for decades remain. We celebrate the centennial of women's suffrage, but still see rampant voter suppression, lack of pay equity, and the continued struggle for the ratification of the ERA. And we face new challenges. What emboldens me is the unique opportunity we have as women lawyers for solidarity to act together within our firms, our companies, our institutions, to be open to moving forward together. One of the things I really wanna highlight over the last two years that NAL has done for its members is the metamorphosis of the book club. And with the commitment of the, those that were president of NAL during this time, specifically Kristen, Karen, and Jenny, we now have emerged into the podcast space, which brings NAL into the current moment and continues and further expands the standard of excellence. Through these book clubs, we talk about meaningful topics, and now through the podcasts, we ever expand and talk about mindfulness and leadership and all of the many things that impact us as women and as lawyers. Finally, I'm grateful and thrilled to be passing the baton to Jenny Champlin, who is already making an impact as the 94th NAL president. Jenny's warmth and spirit will continue to nurture our community while providing the strong leadership we need to advance the mission. I would like to first take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to my friend, Karen Morris, whose leadership over the last year has been nothing short of remarkable. Karen helped to significantly strengthen NAL's infrastructure and foundation while remaining laser focused on progressing our most critical priorities to ensure NAL's enduring impact for the future. And she did it all while leading with style, grace, and a whole lot of heart. My name is Jenny Champlin and I am beyond honored to be the 94th president of the National Association of Women Lawyers. Over the course of NAL's incredible 122 year history, I am confident that there have been trying years such as this last one. And nevertheless, NAL and all of the extraordinary women lawyers and leaders who have been part of this organization persisted. During COVID times back in 2020, we had 15 affinity groups. 
Now we have 22 and are working on our 23rd. So within two years, we've increased exponentially. Going back to 2017, we only had 11 affinity groups. And so we've doubled in that short period of time. I think during COVID times, these affinity groups did many things. All members stepped forward and became leaders and they saw a need and created a space for those that had similar interests and a place for us to connect. And in particular, Mall Moms and the ret Women Revolutionizing Retirement and Intentional Mall really gave back to its members and encouraged and fostered leadership. This is the reason I joined NAL over a decade ago. It's every bit as true today and will be true a decade from now. As we persist together in our mission to advance women in the profession and women's rights under the law. Thank you for this tremendous opportunity and honor.